day. Welcome to Finance 311, Fundamentals of Finance, Summer 29. Um, what I'm going to do today is walk you through everything you need to know about the course, how it runs, and get you started on the next piece. So the first thing we are going to talk about is we're going to do an introduction. Um, I'll introduce you to myself, some of you I know. We're going to take a review through the syllabus. How is Canvas material organized? What are the next steps that you need to take? Remember, we are doing a full semester's work in six weeks. So you need to stay on top of things. The, the work, I think, is fairly well paced and a great opportunity for you to learn uh, in a very short period of time, which should improve your retention rate of it. Um, a little bit about my, myself academically. Um, I graduated from SUNY Fredonia. I have a degree in business. I'm a certified public accountant. I'm a graduate of the Outward Bound Leadership Program. I'm an Earthwatch Fellow, and my graduate degree is from RIT in Leadership and Innovation. Uh, pre my professional background is I've practiced public accounting with the focus on small business. Uh, I spent most of my career so far uh, with HSBC Bank, uh, one of the world's largest banks. I, I did accounting policies. I did financial analysis and planning. I've solved problems. Uh, I was a quality advisor helping to change culture, uh, director of the Quality Training Institute. Um, I then spent a number of years as senior vice president, district executive um, for, for personal and small business wealth management and trust in the Rochester area. So I've had a broad base of experience there. Um, I have been... Uh, my next role was uh, I'm executive director of the South Wedge Planning Committee, where we did housing, business, and community development. I worked on helping getting small business started. Um, I started here part-time in 2007, became full-time in 2008. Uh, I teach uh, finance. I'm the Student Managed Investment Fund advisor and serve as director of School of Business internship programs. I also have to be an all-around professor based on some of the experiences that you see here. Um, I, I've had experiences in leadership, organizational behavior, so I do teach other courses. Uh, concurrent with this one, I'm also teaching organizational behavior this summer and uh, financial statement analysis. Um, I'm also a consultant advisor um, on strategic thinking and asset management. Um, I'm also very involved in the community. Uh, currently, I serve as the board chair for Delphi Rise. Uh, we are a chemical dependency agency. We do prevention, uh, we do treatment, uh, we're involved in uh, reentry programs, we have a mental health first aid. Um, so we have about 100 employees and we have a lot of great programs and uh, I spend a lot of time on that for a lot of reasons. Um, I'm also the treasurer of St. Peter's Kitchen, and we are a soup kitchen pantry and provide social services in the city of Rochester. Um, I'm also coordinator of St. Peter's Community Garden. Um, so during the next few weeks, you'll find that uh, so a lot of my time will be spent working in the garden. Uh, I'm an, part of the leadership team of the West Side Farmers Market. So if you're in the Rochester area, come down on Tuesday evening. Uh, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, I'm also chair of strategic planning and buildings and grounds uh, at St. Monica's Church, where I'm currently in the process of putting an air conditioning system in. Um, I'm involved in the Business Association of the South Wedge area. Uh, from a college engagement, uh, I currently have a couple roles I'm serving on. Uh, one, I'm a member of the President's Sustainability Commission, and I'm a member of the Intercollegiate Athletics Advisory Board. So that keeps me uh, pretty busy. Uh, we'll get to know each other more as we go forward. So let's now take a look at the review of the syllabus. Just let me know. I'd like to now walk you through the syllabus, um, and it is attached. You can pull it up. The syllabus outlines everything we're going to be doing. Uh, this course is really designed to introduce you to financial management principles and techniques. We're going to teach them within the context of the current business and economic environment so that you can apply these concepts that we're talking about to the real world. We're going to also take some time and, and examine the role financial management plays in the, f the firm. How does it relate to the broader picture? An understanding of the basics of managerial finance is important no matter what you're going to be doing. It's used by those in a leadership role 
every day. These are also some of the things we're going to talk about are applicable to your personal finance. There are so many opportunities within finance based on a lot of different skills, whether that be accounting, marketing, finance, business, it's HR. Everybody uses financial tools. Now, one of the things that we want to do is make sure that as an outcome of your education here at Geneseo, that you have strong analytical skills, strong quantitative skills, effective communication skills, and a thorough understanding of the functions of business. So in this course, we're clearly going to try to do that. So if we look at some of these, uh, what are our learning outcomes? What will the successful student be able to do? Know the roles of financial management in the firm. Okay. Describe the key activities of the financial manager. Learning goal four. Understand the financial markets and how they impact a firm. Understand the importance of cash flow, working capital, in the management of the firm. Understand the basic components of the financial statement to be able to analyze a firm. That's research and application based. We're going to learn what about financial ratios how they are, how they're computed, help you be able to apply them, but more importantly, be able to interpret what they mean. Apply the concept of time value of money in the decision-making process. Understand basic risk, return, and risk management techniques in applications. Uh, understand what financial planning and forecasting is about. Understand capital budgeting, why we do it, how we do it. And then, more importantly, we've tried to make sure that Excel is part of this course to challenge you to build your Excel skills. Um, so it is a prereq for many other courses. Um, we'll provide a, uh, most of the materials on Canvas. For supplemental background, here is the book you can do. You can um, buy it if you'd like. You can buy chapters, uh, etc. So how are we going to deliver this course? Um, we're going to be delivered online using Canvas. Uh, it's organized based on modules. We're going to couple different modules. Um, we're going to use a four-step process. One is I'm going to give you a lecture on the concept. What is it that we're trying to teach? I'm going to show you how it applies to a small case study, and then I'm going to show how to apply it to a real company, and then you're going to go off and apply it to a real company too, so we can see how you can learn. Um, on the grading, uh, basically, we have this introductory activity, which we'll talk about. Uh, we have three quizzes. Um, you can see the, the one is worth four. They're all worth 14. We have an application project, uh, which, again, we'll talk about. The first one is worth 15. The second two are worth 20 and 20. Uh, this tells you the letter grades. And here's our t key schedule. Uh, do pay attention to these. You'll, you'll get various emails from me. I do an update once a week, uh, but I'm always here for questions. What are we going to cover in our modules? Uh, we're going to start out with an economic background, um, move into the markets, business structure and role of finance. What are the concepts of finance? How do, how do firms manage their financial affairs and then how do they make money? Um, then we're going to go take a look through the cash flow analysis tools and ratios. We're going to look at capital structure, risk and risk management. We're going to take a look at planning, interest rates, risk, reward, and fixed income. We'll take some time and look at equities. We're going to try to go through this, but if we need to go into more detail in an area, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we do want to have some flexibility. Uh, I've also provided here um, a set of resources that you may want to use. Um, the disability accommodations, about your well-being. Um, this, I think, is important um, that, you know, many of you are going to be working, taking multiple classes, but we've got to maintain a, a balance between what we're doing and making sure we're not overstressed by it. Is it going to be hard work? Yes. But I think if you plan it, uh, you make sure you're, you're, you're really balancing out life, eating right, uh, getting enough sleep, exercising, having fun, um, I think you're going to be very successful. Uh, this is from resources on behavioral health, academic support, integrity, um, computer and technology support. Uh, so that gives you a basic outline. Um, there is also 
a piece on using Blackboard, uh, which is a component in Canvas, and the instructions are also in this introductory module. It's pretty easy to use, but again, we want you to use as much technology as possible. So let's go take a look at what quizzes are about. And just to um, expand upon what I talked about in the syllabus, uh, I'd like to talk about quizzes. Um, there's three of them. They will all be online and available on the test date from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59. So you have 24 hours to finish them, to start. Once you start, you must finish. It's going to be time, but there'll be plenty of time for you. The questions will be a mix of multiple choice, fill in the blank, true, false, and essay response. You need to show all your work and attach an Excel file as needed. Questions are going to intend to seek to assess uh, what have you learned as opposed to what have you memorized. Since this is online, you have access to all the resources you need, but these are thinking questions. How do you apply? Uh, so that becomes important. Think. Um, next piece is our semester research project. Um, each person will be signed a company to research during the semester. Um, it'll be a fairly easy to understand company, but it'll be a really publicly traded company, which you'll have to go right into 10Ks and other information uh, to find what you're looking for. The ultimate goal is for you to apply everything we talk about in the class to a real company. So you can go from, as I said, from the theory lecture to my simple company to a more complex publicly held company, then you have to do it yourself. Um, each component will have detailed instructions um, a week before the due date, so you have a week to do it, and there's going to be a sample for you to follow. And I'll always be here for questions if you have any questions. Organization and presentation does become critical. Um, because presentation skills are the ability to take what you're learning and be able to communicate it. It becomes important. Uh, at least one of these presentations you're going to present live in the Blackboard component of Canvas, which is actually pretty cool, at a time that works for both you and I. And we have flexibility when we, when we do that. Uh, but it's an opportunity for you to present, for us to take a look at what you're doing, give you some solid feedback, so that when you move to the next section, um, you can incorporate those thoughts um, that we do have, and you'll know exactly what I'm thinking about for the grade for that project. Um, this always comes up. Uh, we're doing 15 weeks a week, 15 weeks of work in six weeks. So you're going to have more work than you normally do, um, so plan accordingly. Okay, Important to manage your time with that. It doesn't matter when you read what you do, when you do it, when you watch the videos, it doesn't matter. But I would suggest at the beginning of each week that you basically understand what's due in the next week and plan your time appropriately. Okay? Um, what are the next steps? First thing you do is, if you go to Canvas, you, you may have done this, but if you go to your profile on Canvas, upload a picture so that one, I can put a name to a face as opposed to a question mark or a shadow head. In Canvas, there is a discussion assignment uh, that's worth three points uh, of your grade. And I need you to do it by May 23rd. So basically, I wrote a post. And what I'd like you to do is respond to my post, uh, telling me a little bit about yourself, what's your name, what you want me to call you. Uh, what are you going to be doing this summer? Uh, where are you? What do you hope to learn this summer? from spending six weeks with me. What are you interested in? Um, and the last one is, I want to be a great professor. What should I do and what shouldn't I do to be a great professor? And giving you all A's is not really the right thing to do. So what do you think about what you, how you'd like me to behave, what you'd like me to do? Um, once you have all these down, um, you're going to respond. But then what I'd like you to do is review and respond to four other student posts. So just, there's uh, not a lot of us, so just take time. Um, I want you to put either a comment or a question. Don't use things like sound good, like fun, looks like fun, whatever. Have something meaningful. And that way we can at least get a sense of who is with us this summer. Um, the next steps after you're done with that is move right into module one. Um, the videos, there's going to be supporting notes. 
uh, a piece or two of additional reading materials. We're going to go through an economic overview, uh, the financial markets, concepts, the role of finance in an organization. And each week, I am going to do an update like this so you know what we need to do. So if you have any 